So uh, switch on a UV lamp. There it is. And then turn on the laser itself. And turn on the computer. As you can see, it's not the state of the art computer, but uh, literally we just use it to control the laser and record spectra. And it's very old, but uh, it does the job. And what we do is look at reactions that occur in the atmosphere and uh, study their rate and mechanism. To do that, we actually use gases. These are precursor gases containing the cylinders. Then we flow gases through these Teflon tubes into a mixing line, this, ga uh, this glass vessel. And then from the mixing line, these precursor gases flow further through another piece of Teflon tube into the reaction cell. That's where the exciting stuff occurs. This is the reaction cell. Um, basically, we fire a laser uh, at our precursor mixture. And the laser um, is high energy radiation, breaks bonds. So it tears molecules apart. And these molecular fragments are highly reactive. So they react like mad. And we monitor the temporal behavior of this species uh, using UV absorption spectroscopy. This is our UV lamp, it's a Xen lamp. And um, to simulate atmospheric condition more accurately, uh, the cell, the reaction cell is both temperature and pressure controlled. You know, uh, atmospheric temperatures are much lower than uh, ground level temperatures, much colder up there, and pressures are lower as well. So uh, we use a thermostat unit to control the temperature. And as you can see, it's set about zero degrees Celsius. And you can see some uh, condensation forming on the glassware. So we simulate atmospheric conditions. Uh, that's as close as we get to um, uh, what is going on really in the atmosphere.